It would be a cliche to say no two days are the same, but this job must be up there in the top 10 most interesting government comms jobs. You might get a call at 7am in the morning uh, to deploy to an accident site where you'll be advising our investigators on how to respond. You'll also need to coordinate with the other agencies who will have spokespeople on site. Some weeks, high profile accidents will take up a lot of your time, whether that's from when the accident has just happened or when you're preparing to publish a final report. You'll therefore need a strong background in media relations, but this role is a lot more than just about speaking to the press. You'll act as a trusted advisor to the three chief inspectors, navigating through the options and providing expert communications advice. You'll need to be aware of the needs of different stakeholders, and this can be very sensitive at times, particularly when people have died. Communicating about transport accident investigations is pretty niche, but a small community of international communicators has built up over time. Investigators will turn to you and your international colleagues to provide advice on how to deal with major accidents and how they can prepare for them. This can be challenging, but also rewarding, with an opportunity to present using your experience and expertise, and also to provide media training, both to your own investigators and to those overseas. If you enjoy working on your own initiative and can be a trusted advisor to the chief inspectors, this could be a very good role for you.